On our sticky notes that's in front of us, let's go ahead and take about 30 seconds to write out two different ways that we can communicate with someone. Let's do a nonverbal way and then a verbal way as well. And then once we have that done, let's go ahead and stick it up on the chart over there and then come find our seats again. All right, so we are writing, sticking, and then sitting. Do we have any questions about that? All right, let's take 30 seconds to do that. So now that we've written out two different ways that we can communicate, both verbally and non-verbally, let's have a volunteer come up here and read off some of these uh, post-it notes. Nick, come on up. I'll do it. Talking, texting, calling, and I like that one, sign language. Sign language. So, visual. So what are some ways that we can visually communicate with other people, like Nick just brought up? Body language. Body language, yes, yeah, so giving like those hand signals or um, our facial expressions say a lot about us sometimes. You know, they say whether or not we're in a good mood or in a bad mood. Right. So let's go ahead and give Nick a power clap for eating some of those. One, two, three. All right, very good. High five for Nick. All right, so let's go ahead and find ourselves in the back of the room in a giant group, and then we'll wait for further instructions. A football team can be broken down into two subcategories, or sub-teams, sub so to speak. They are offense and... Defense. Offense and defense, defense and offense. all right. <laughs> and just so we're going to go ahead and we're going to break ourselves into two separate groups. Uh, I'm going to come around and I'll assign you guys either an offense or a defense. So offense, defense, offense. Do we all know what team we're on? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into our two separate groups. Um, let's have offense over here and defense over here. So who likes to compete? Okay, a couple of us. We're going to have a competition amongst the offense and the defense. What we're going to do is we are going to pass the ball down the line and then back using just our feet and our legs. Just our feet and our legs. So there are no sort of You just got to, everybody has to touch it, both forward and back. Using just our feet and our legs. All right. But here's a twist. No communication. No talking, no hand signals, just passing it along and passing it back. Seems hard? Seems easy? What do we think? Alright, so do we have any questions about that? Alright, when I say go, let's go ahead and pass the ball down and then pass it back. Let's go. So this team over here is the winner of that round. But what did we think? Do we think that was challenging? Do we think it was easy? It was a little bit challenging. All right. So this team over here, why did you guys find it challenging? Okay. Couldn't use your hands. Couldn't use your feet. Couldn't communicate. If we could communicate, how would this make it easier? Because we could tell them we're ready to pass it, or we could tell them which way to sit. Yeah. So we could kind of give them directions and tell them to. Yeah, cheer them on, right? Everyone needs encouraging directions. Um, so do you guys want to do it again, and this time we can talk? Uh, yes. Yeah? Do we think we might have a different outcome? Maybe this team might win this time? No. No, he said no? All right. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try it again. But this time we can communicate um, using our voices, um, but we still cannot touch the ball using our hands. All right, so on our mark, get set, go. Alright, so Nick's team was the winner of that round. Um, do we think this round do we think this round was easier or do we think this round was harder? It was a little bit easier. It was a little bit easier. So what was each team's strategy? Alright, so just move the ball as fast as you can. Did you guys what about this team over here? Did you guys do anything differently? So let our legs let it roll. Okay, so just let it roll. Yeah. But did you communicate differently? Um, kind of like pass the message down. Okay. So you're able to follow the instructions of the person before you gave you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what about you guys over here? Because obviously you guys had won the first time. Why? Why not? Second time. Well, I stole their ball for a few seconds. <laughs> you stole their ball. And they did. <laughs> 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 Communication can kind of sometimes be a cursing or a curse and a blessing. Yeah. Sometimes there's so much communication going on around us that we don't know exactly what to listen to or 
what to do or what to follow. Um, but sometimes without communication, we're kind of left in the dark. We don't really know what to do.